Welcome to the first ever Ink Off, the show where we ask three tattoo artists to design a piece based on three randomly chosen prompts. Let's meet today's contestants. Hi, my name is Justin, and uh, today I'm putting my drawing skills to the test. I'm 25, I've been tattooing about six and a half years. I'm not big into drawing or sketching. I do a lot of just designing and photorealism, copying off references. My style is black and gray realism for the most part. Um, yeah, that's about it. <laughs> How about that I'm from New Jersey? <laughs> is, that a good, is that a good fact? Hi, my name is Matta, and I'm putting my drawing skills to the test. I would love to draw something with eyes in it, something with boobs, something with genitals. I think that you asked me to do this video because I'm a, kind of a weirdo, and you know I'm gonna produce something <laughs> kind of ridiculous. I'm always drawing like tits and weird things around the shop, and I think you guys enjoy that, you creeps. Hi, my name's Kavan, and I'm putting my drawing skills to the test. That's exactly how I speak. I have been tattooing for like, I don't know, too long, 15 years, something like that. My tattoo style is sort of whatever I'm feeling at the moment, but it does lean towards being higher contrast, minimal, minimal color palette, uh, very graphic designy. For this challenge, we've taken a dart board and assigned a different prompt for each number. Oh yeah, I probably need a dart. The first dart thrown chooses the subject, the second an adjective, and the third an action. Once all three have been thrown, we have our design. The only thing I would say about both the other artists is that they just suck. They're just not cool, you know? I didn't, I didn't catch their names. Tell them all the time. Like, you guys, you guys need to, like, step it up. With the artists in their stations, it's time to reveal what will be going into their piece. I like drawing under nebulous circumstances, and I think I had worked at uh, you know shops with different vibes, and I did a lot of walk-ins before, so I'm very used to the sort of like, here's my idea, go, you know, that kind of thing. Pretty solid Pictionary player, so drawing on random prompts is like my shit. Are you ready to hear the prompts? I'm always ready. Today you will be drawing a creepy tiger riding a bike. That is horrible. Okay. That's it. Okay, when I, when I got the, the, the variables, it's like, I really consider it more of a two than a three because a bicycle is a thing, a tiger is a thing. Uh, creepiness, spookiness, that's so up to interpretation and some people are babies, so you never know what they're scared of. 20 minutes, come on. How do you spell bicycle? You guys did this on purpose. Okay, the process I went through to get to the design, is that a sentence? Yes. <laughs> I just started Googling shit immediately because I, I was like, this is this is crazy. This is a crazy idea, right? The first word just kind of threw me for a loop uh, from the start. It was just like uh, creepy tiger. Like, I don't know what makes a tiger any creepy besides like blood, but I figured we would figure it out later on. I had kind of partially thought about tigers when we were up there. I just kind of go, it's visually distinctive. It's a classic tattoo motif. I had this idea of doing something that was like a little more like, blobs and shapes because cool thing about tigers it's got a distinctive print which means you can slap tiger print on basically anything and go you think of it as a tiger first before it's a second thing i could have just drawn this in the most literal interpretation which is a tiger paws on the handlebars or on the drops you know but like i didn't really want to do that there's two other people doing the same thing and i just wanted to approach it in a slightly more kind of deconstructed way i'm just can we cheat they're cheating allowed. Just like I hate dragons, tigers kind of suck. They have a bunch of stripes and stuff. Like nobody wants to deal with them. I just made him, I made, I put a suit on him. The reason I chose the picture of the tiger that I chose was because that's the cutest tiger in the world. He just looks like he needs to wear a suit and be on a bicycle. I was like, that's, that's the one. After uh, I went from that, I had uh, start playing with the idea of how to do a bike in front of it or kind of underneath it, just kind of in that zone. But um, I got caught up in the idea of the back wheel and I hadn't done a tail yet. And I'm like, well, what if I just kind of have it curl under and loop and sort of have the curl of the tail sort of function as where the back wheel was. That was a, just kind of a on the fly decision. It's your 10 minute warning, you are halfway there. Ah. Fantastic. Once you get in that zone, it's easy to lose track of time, and that's the tricky thing about time challenges or anything like that. So uh, it was really good to have that sort of 10 minute warning because I was kind of 
perusing and taking my time and I had to start speeding up towards the end, which I'm sure is probably the case with not just me. Nada, this is your 10 minute warning. Halfway there. Don't say it like that. I wish I used a little bit of a thinner line for this, but that ship has sailed, so. Look, this doesn't reflect on my actual art, everybody. Okay, this is like a super fast thing. At the 10 minute mark, I was probably still figuring out how to put the tiger on the actual bike. <laughs> that, I knew that was gonna be the biggest hurdle, which is kind of why I started on that. Uh, just because, again, there aren't references out there of tigers riding bikes. So you have to kind of make it work. You're making decisions and you don't have a ton of time to go back. So it forces you to sort of lean into it and just move forward from that. And that's kind of like tattooing because you don't really have that sort of edit undo time. Yeah, normally I don't really have too much of a crunch. And if I'm not figuring something out, I'll put it down, I'll do something else, come back to it. You don't really have that option. <laughs> you just kind of go for it. You don't really have time to think too much. I still got to make them creepy. Whose idea is the show? I don't like it. So I had some trouble finding pants for the tiger. And then somebody threw pants to me, like physically, while I was drawing it. I was like, these are sweatpants. I can't put these on him. He's like an old, he's like a 19, early 1900s guy. They didn't wear these in the 1920s. Do you think that helped you in knowing what pants you did want to put? No. So it, it was just distracting. It was briefly distracting. Oh. Oh. Here's the thing about working in layers. I can change it on the fly. So I'm just gonna get the structure down and then the last few minutes I'm probably just gonna be adjusting colors, which I should probably take off my colored sunglasses for. When I'm thinking about things I wanna draw, it's almost like there's too many options. You know, sometimes having variables helps because otherwise a, you get that thing of just staring at a blank document. I think anything technical would have been tricky given the time limitations, um, things like cars, uh, anything that has been like industrially designed machines. I love that stuff, but it's certainly more um, time consuming. So something organic and blobby that you can just kind of do whatever you want with it is nice. Your five minute warning. Nice. Five minute warning. Just enough time to give him a new head and then try to make him creepy. I'll probably throw some blood on him. What's more creepy than some blood, right? Was a little stumped from the beginning with the creepy part aspect of it, but I figured we would go back to that. So I started with the tiger on the bicycle, got as far as I could, and then was like, maybe we should put some blood and start looking into this creepy aspect. And I couldn't think of anything really besides blood. So I said, let's do a Jason mask. Then I don't even need to do a face. Make him creepy? I don't know. He's kind of creepy looking. Mm -hmm. Give him corpse paint. Okay, so what inspired me to put corpse paint on him was that I realized that it was supposed to be a creepy tiger on a bicycle. And I was like, well, he just looks goofy. You know, he's just like a cute, dumb tiger. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put some corpse paint on him. Should I give him a sword? How much time, how much time? <laughs> yes, you did. I thought this was like chopped. That's what I was told from the beginning. <laughs> You give me two hours, it'll take two hours. You give me 10 minutes, it's gonna take 10 minutes. You ever have a problem where you decide to get a bigger bag because you don't think you have enough stuff with you in the day, and then a month later you realize you're just cramming more in your bag? That's how time works. And if you had given me an hour, I would have been cramming at the last second. You give me 20 minutes, it's just the nature of it. I did go into this knowing that it was gonna be a shorter thing, so I wanted to operate in a pretty efficient way. I wasn't gonna sit around trying to do like, Oh, the difference with tiger things is you have to count the vertebrae and make sure it's got the right shoulder positions. Like, I didn't want to do that. Dada, this is your one minute warning. Okay. One minute. Cool. Oh, I got this, 100%. Last 10 seconds, I wrote, I'm spooky above it, which just drives the point home. The only issue is that I had my, uh, my stabilizer turned on max for that. So it looks a little illegible, but I actually kind of like it. Three. Two, one. Cool. He's down. He's done. He's cool. <laughs> you think, I think you could tell what he is. <laughs> sort of what's going on at least. I can't believe I did that in 20 minutes. Uh, it looks like crap, but I did it. With all the drawings finished, 
the contestants came together for the final reveal. As an overall thing, I really just enjoy this kind of thing because specifically when multiple people draw the same thing, you get a sort of like constants and variable situation and their style differences really show. I'm a huge fan. Yeah, I mean, what I liked about today was uh, I was terrified and I haven't been terrified all week, so thanks. You need that every once in a while. Yeah. Here we go, that's what I'm talking about. Is it corpse paint on him? I only had the top half, you could tell. I just like had to draw the rest of him on. And then I stole some like random legs and threw them on there. I don't know, I just stole shit off the internet. I was freaking out. I was like, I'm not drawing yeah. from scratch. I realized it wasn't creepy last second. And See? so I added some corpse paint. I think creepy might have been all of our sort of like last. A hundred percent. Yeah. I was like, the hardest part is gonna be that creepy aspect and then I But anybody can be creepy. Normal looking people look creepy. That's true. Can act creepy. You don't know the personality yeah. of this this tiger. Maybe <laughs> a, this normal looking tiger is a stalker. Like I don't know. Yeah. How would you rate the job that you did, Mata? Like a two out of five. No. Two out seven, of ten. Seven out of five matters. You are now a Unit of measure. I know where you live. I was fully expecting some <laughs> saggy boobs or something. <laughs> you know, like I was trying to keep it PG. Exploits factory workers, it looks like. Oh no. <laughs> Super <laughs> creepy. Hell yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't finish what? the stripes and I did no shading. Dude, we kept it very that's simple. Sick. Good job. And I like I, the, the lack of a hand. Like flag? Thank like you. Like a racing flag? A little bit of a flag at the oh, back man. there. What about his butt stripes? I ran out of time, all right? He's lucky he even got a mask and a face. The face, so the mask was because I didn't have time to do the face. So I said, all right, that's we're hilarious. gonna throw a mask on you know, there. Hey, gotta that's, be that's creative. <laughs> what would you guys rate this? Me? C minus, we did this already. I said C minus for sure. 12. Uh, I don't know what the scale is, but yeah, do we have like a metric? Yeah, we need we need a we need a scale of some sort. I have a question: Is that the creepy element? Is the mask correct? That's hilarious. Correct. I was gonna just do blood, but I ran out of time, yeah. and I was like, blood's kind of whack, and I was like, well, we don't have time to finish the face anyway, so blood is whack. <laughs> <laughs> Blood's That's whack. A That's like a, I like that as a, <laughs> a like a like a pretentious review of a horror film. Be like, Blood's whack. Blood's whack. Whoa. That's cool. That's totally. <laughs> That's amazing. When they described what it was, my initial assumption was, if you said a tiger riding a bicycle, I was like, well, I mean, I figured you guys might have already done that in like a more direct way, so. I was like, well, I'm assuming there's already gonna be a version where it's actually on the bike, so I was just like, well, let's just mush him and kind of do a reference to it being with a bike. 15 mil wrench, like the wrench you would have, uh, you know, that kind of fits almost everything on the bike. And I was also like, tiger stripes, you can just kind of put on anything and it works as a tiger, so I just figured some like lava lamp blobs would work. No, it's amazing. I feel like you didn't do that in 20 minutes. I feel right. like that too. That's, that's that, the first just, thing like, I the saw. Most, <laughs> Like put put together thing. Mm -hmm. It's like color. Like a full artwork. It's artist. a full piece of art. Yeah. I'll do a twelve out of ten mattis. Perfect. Right. You're a unit of measure now. Okay. I'll give it a an A plus plus plus. This is the thing with rating systems or any of this, which is that it's so non-linear. And I go, if all three of us were saying we're doing this photorealistic then you could sort of have a ranking of who is closer to that scale. But like mm -hmm. a photo bash, like a line work illustration and like a sort of deconstructed thing. They're all know. different. So mine's my favorite. You don't really, <laughs> yeah. I like theirs better than mine. <laughs> oh, I like yours the best. I, I will get yours no, it's tattooed. Okay. It's all right. You don't need to. I'll get it. Just yeah. do it tomorrow. Do it today. Well, I guess if you're looking to get that show on you, let me know. Instagram is Justin Sandelli. No spaces, no caps, no nothing. Just Justin Sandelli. You're trying to get my weird uh, lava lamp blob tiger situation. Uh, you can hit me on Instagram. Uh, it's just Kavan. If you would like the slave laborer tiger boy tattooed on you, let me know. Business magnate tiger. My Instagram is M-A-D-A -A, martyr. No spaces. No, none of that, should, okay? You guys should just put the graphic up. You're really gonna make us yeah, spell like, it? Like, yeah. here? you have After Effects upstairs. Just put it here. here? Look, 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 do it in here. If you don't track it in my hands, 